everybody, welcome back to my channel. I really quickly wanted to just show you guys that even though I mainly do a journaling and memory keeping style of planning lately, in fact, I've been doing it this way for, huh, I'm not quite sure. Has it been almost a year? It's getting close to a year, I think, if, if, uh, if I remember correctly. That's gonna bug me. I'm gonna have to go back in my planners now and figure out how long it's been since I've been doing this kind of, uh, it's similar to the scripting method, but I don't believe in manifestation or the law of attraction. So it's really me journaling, uh, even using full sentences and journaling. Today, I wanna have a fun day at the beach with my kids. Make sure you lay out, you know, the beach clothes and the beach bag. You know, I might still do that where I have a plan for the day and I write it more in a sentence style rather than a bullet list, but it's my own thing. I don't know. I've done a lot of videos on that. Uh, go back several, check out more videos on my channel for more details. But I get asked all the time, how do you keep track of to-dos and tasks and to-do lists? Well, in general, my life has settled down and I've created a rhythm where I don't need to rely on a task list as much as I thought I did. So for instance, as a stay-at-home mom, I would often have house cleaning and house responsibility type things on my to-do list. Well, they were never anything I looked forward to. It, it's never fun to see laundry on your list for the day. It never really motivates me to get it done. Uh, it might guilt me into getting it done, but I sort of dread it until it's over. And now I just live my life. If it looks like the hamper is full, I do a load of laundry. Uh, if the bathroom looks like it's dirty, then I clean it. Sometimes that's every day. Sometimes it's twice a day. Sometimes it's every few days. I just don't need my planner to run my life because I'm just living my life and doing the things. However, there are times, and you can see it here, where you get in a busy season or you're just in some kind of a season where you have to remember a lot of things. And I do make lists. So I have this list here um, from Monday, a bunch of things that I needed to do and to keep track of. And honestly, I didn't get all of these done on that day. And I will probably go back at some point with my pen. Um, I tend to put a check mark over the dot if I did it that day and an arrow pointing this way to signify that I migrated it or I did it on a different day. Um, I may rewrite it on the day I know I got it completed, but there are times where I only have lists. Um, we're midway through this week and the rest of my planner is blank because I've really been working off of this list that I started on Monday of all these time sensitive type things that I did have to get done. And that's okay. Um, usually on the weekends, I have plenty of time and I'll go back and I'll memory keep if I haven't written a whole lot during the day. I'll add my stickers and any other decorations that I want to. And of course I'll add pictures because I love using my little Canon Ivy mini, mini printer, um, which I've showed you. Actually my most recent video was my goals pages and I'm trying to flip it one handed here where I printed all of these out. And yeah, I showed that in my, my video I posted last week. So go ahead and check that out. Um, so there is a huge time and a place for checklists and I just write them. Now in my brain, generally speaking, the page is divided up into morning, later morning, afternoon and evening. And I will often write a to-do list of this sort in this section because I will start working on it as soon as I can in the later morning and it will usually go through into the afternoon. So that's what works for my brain. Um, these are more, a bunch of things came up. I've got to check on things. This is not like a long-term project or something like a birthday party that I'm planning or a graduation party. This was um, some volunteer work I'm a part of and some other things that were personal tasks. And then uh, actually a few things related to the church that I attend. And so all of those things, I just, my brain couldn't hold them all, of course, which is why I have a planner. And I was able to write them down and work off of this. 
So that's it. I know this is a very short video, but that's what I wanted to let you guys know that while most of my planning is more journaling, uh, even journaling before something happens as a prettier, if you will, or a wordier, um, more beautifully worded way to write down the things that I want to do that day. Um, I do use checklists occasionally. Uh, I try to avoid it. I try to just get things done before I need to write it down. Um, I try to do certain things while I maybe have kids napping or in the afternoons if they get electronic time and they're playing their games and they're settled down, that that's a great time for me to do computer work. So I might just do things that I know are coming up at that time and write them down after the fact. But there are times you still can use a list like this and then fill in all the rest with your beautiful elements, whether it's pictures or stickers or drawings, whatever makes you happy. And I just wanted to show you that because I still get many questions about that. How do I do that? And I wanted to show you because this week was a great example. I was so busy doing things and I really had to rely on a checklist. So I did. And my planning reflects that. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know if there's uh, a topic that I can cover for you guys. I'll do my best to get a video made as soon as I'm able. And I appreciate you watching today. All right, have a good weekend. Bye.